Hey yo, it's the one and only KR Sick Productions. Oh yeah. And so today will be our first ever What If series. The What If series is basically dream matches or scenarios or battles. What if this happened or what if that happened? What if this person went against that person? Something like that. And so the first topic of the series will be Naruto's nature releases or chakra releases or ninja arts, whatever you want to call it, versus Avatar's bending art. So before we start and without further ado did you Ikazo right into the video I would say my conclusion is that Naruto wins so thank you for watching my video be sure to subscribe and like <laughs> so let's jump right into it I will be looking at my laptop just to remind me about a few things but we are going to start looking at the capabilities so starting with Naruto's nature releases we've got the five basic chakra natures we've got fire water earth lightning and wind avatars bending arts we have the fire earth air and water when it comes to avatars bending arts the bending arts they have the ability to manipulate or control said nature release or said element the fire benders gain their power from the sun they source of the power if that is the sun and they are the only element where they can generate the element generate that nature release and so if you look at the firebender versus a fire user, so let's say Violet Ozai versus Madara Uchiha. Let's say Madara uses his majestic fire flame, if that's what it's called, or just any fireball jutsu. And let's say he shoots it directly at Violet Ozai. Depending on how powerful it is, Violet Ozai could possibly redirect that attack or counter it or send it back to him since they have the ability to control fire at will or control any source of fire. If we look at water bending, they can manipulate and alter water in any shape, form and size. So gas, solid and liquid. So basically they can create ice. In Naruto, you need a Kike Genka in order to create ice. A Kike Genka would be mixing two elements together in order to create a new one, like earth, and water would turn into wood release and if I'm not mistaken fire and earth would be the lava release which the fourth or fifth Mizukage Mei Terumi uses and so that's why the avatar people have the advantage they don't need a special ability in order to make ice or gas or something like that but then the Naruto people you'd need a certain Kekkenka or ability but the Naruto people are downright like stronger like it's just a fact they are stronger when it comes to strategic skills when it comes to how powerful their attacks are since it's their chakra nature and all their energy into one attack never mind um <laughs> and so if we go further let's say that we get an earth bender versus an earth style user if the earth style user brings up the mud wall or the earth wall an earth bender could easily just bring it down again because they can just control it so if the kakashi goes earth earth mud wall or earth style mud wall the fire bender could just not fire bender earth bender get your facts right the earth bender could just easily bring it down again and so they have the ability to control and manipulate earth rock in all the various forms and they can what they normally do is they endure their enemies attacks until they find the opening same with uh, water benders they're more graceful and they normally wait for the moment the right moment to attack and they're more of defensive users if you look at fire benders they're more of offense so they're always attacking and their defensive maneuvers aren't that strong and so that's why if we have 
someone like Madara, Obito, Itachi, Sasuke, Eni Uchiha, even who else uses it? Oh, this look at. So we take an avatar versus the third Okage, Hiruzen Sarutobi. That fight would be mad because it would be an avatar, a use of all the elements, versus an Okage who knows how to use all the elements. He knows how to use all five. Or all four if I'm he knows how to use four. Or five if I'm not mistaken, he can use five. So he uses his shadow clone jutsu. And then he creates five shadow clones or four shadow clones. So there's five of them. And then they each use the, their own element. So if you have him against an avatar, quite frankly, I would say that the Hokage would win because Sarutobi would be much stronger, perhaps even faster. Let's say he's in his prime, he would definitely have the advantage because he can use all the elements. But the avatar as well will be able to manipulate and redirect most of Sarutobi's attacks, be it Avatar Koro or Avatar Ang. And if it comes to a battle of Hokage and an avatar, Hokage would definitely take the win. Well, if we say the Raikage A versus Azula, so this is a firebender with that lightning versus the Raikage who is a lightning user. He is much stronger, much faster. He will... She's dead. J just one hit, probably. Because he is extremely strong. He was able to crack Susano. If you look at the five Kage summer to when Sasuke attacked, he was able to crack Susano with one punch. And that I don't think anybody in Avatar with their strength could like knock Susano and crack it or break it at all. And so if we take the any lightning attack that A uses, or let's say Sasuke is Kirin, if we take it against a fire style user who directs lightning or redirects lightning or the thing that they do, they harness the power of the lightning to shoot it at someone. I don't think the fire user, that fire bender, let's say Azula or Zuko, would be able to contain it or to withstand that attack. If we take Sasuke's thunderclap, Kirin, and he brings it down, the one he used on Itachi, if he brings that down and Azula tries to redirect it, that would probably be way too powerful for her and she would be dead on the spot but let's say airbending avatar ang versus let's say tamari since she's she's not the best wind style user in naruto because naruto is but she's like definitely in the top five she's one of the most memorable wind style users in naruto and so we take her versus avatar I think that would be a really good fight because it's just straight up wind versus air. It's basically the same element against each other. And the avatar would perhaps have the advantage because depending on what type of training you went through, an avatar can be able to fly. As we saw, I think his name is Zafab, was able to. And then also, if you look at the upper, the bisons, like that's where they got the, the inspiration from since they from the air temple or the air nomads. And so Avatar Aang was also able to fly either using the glider, he used the wind, or he had that ball that he used. And so if we take Tamari against Avatar Aang, like let's say he's in his prime, he's already mastered it. Aang could win, most possibly Aang could win. Because if we take the wind scythe jutsu and the tornadoes, I don't think Aang would be able to control it. Or to redirect it or manipulate it in a way because it's so strong and it's in basically Naruto's nature releases and chakra releases as it says chakra re releases they are releasing their chakra into the attack and so their chakra is infused in the attack and so that makes it strong and doesn't make it like a normal element which said bending user bending art or whatever you want to call them can manipulate it at their will so let's go back to fire bending they get their power from the sun. So would you say that a firebender would be weaker at night and is fighting against a fire style user, let's say Kakashi or... Does Kakashi use fire? No, he did not. I think he did. I'm not sure. No. No. Let's say Kakuzu, who's also another person who's able to use five elements. Or any Uchiha or just anybody else, any clan that is able to specialize in the fireball jutsus, the fire styles, whatever, whatever. A bending, a firebender would be much 
weaker at that state but then let's say okay a firebender would be much weaker when it's at night but then again they will be strong because they will still have the fire that's being directed at them but when it comes like at the end of the day if it's a straight out battle avatar people would lose because if i'm looking at just the natures versus the natures avatar people would have the advantage but if it's a straight out battle naruto people are winning and why are they doing it like this it feels weird yeah 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 naruto people would have the advantage so avatar people Nature against nature, it would be, they would have the advantage because they can just manipulate and use it at their will. But Naruto people straight out death battle, they would, they would destroy the Avatar people. And simple as that. But if you guys think that I've missed anything or I need to get back to anything or anything like that. Anything, anything, what, what am I doing? So... If you guys think that I missed anything or I missed a few points, something like that, then comment down below. If you want to see more videos like this, if you have any video suggestions or anything that I you, that you want me to talk on, just comment down in the comment section. Like, that's the only section that you can comment in, technically. <laughs> but if you did enjoy this, if you you should have enjoyed this. Like, how can you not? If you're a weeb, you definitely did. Even if you're not. Even if you watch Naruto Avatar, you definitely enjoyed this. And you found it interesting. You cannot lie. Don't lie. Be sure to subscribe. You know the red button that says subscribe if you haven't already. Or turn on the post notifications. You know that bell. Ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah, that. And so also, like it. Definitely like it. I think I said that before, but... Like it again, just to make sure. But make sure that it's blue. So yeah, you like it and then the, the thumb turns blue, you know? Yeah. And then also share it. Share this video and make sure that you stay tuned for more what-if scenarios and battles. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching this. KR6 out.